Hi there and welcome at another screencast on TypeScript design patterns and in this screencast we'll be discussing the command pattern and when we look at the definition it states that it encapsulates a request as an object and thereby letting you parameterize clients with different requests queue or lock requests and support undoable operations um, now this sounds a little bit complex so let's look at the class diagram so we have a client that likes to affect a receiver of an action in some way. Um, instead of making the changes to the receiving object directly, we create a command and invoke that command through an invoker. And that invoker then keeps track of all the commands that are executed. And in this way, we can use that invoker to undo commands and redo commands. So the client does indeed create a command. It also injects the object it would like to affect with this command, but then invokes the command through an invoker. So I created an example. So let's switch over to Visual Studio and look at the example. So uh, first of all, we created an interface. And the interface is called I command. And the I command has uh, two methods: execute and undo. Okay. For that, we also create an abstract class called a style command, which implements I command. And what it does, it of course implements this interface. But on execute, it stores the previous value of a style property the HTML element receiver, and then changes the style of this HTML element. When we undo the command, we uh, set the style back to the previous value. So this is our abstract class. Then we have a background color command. What this does, it passes in the style property to change background color and just calls the super. Uh, for the text alignment command, also extends the style command, but it affects the text alignment. Okay, so we have these two commands where we can change the background color and the text alignment. Then we have an invoker, and what the invoker does, it has an array of commands, and the invoker keeps track of all the commands that are executed. And in that way allows us to undo commands by calling the undo method of an I command or a re redo a command by calling the execute of the command. So this is our invoker. And then look at our load function. So on this specific page, we have a ribbon where we add commands and we have a receiver and the receiver is actually an element, an HTML, HTML element uh, with an ID of content. Then we create a new invoker. Then we create a whole lot of buttons and these buttons of course uh, execute a command. We add these buttons to the ribbon. Then we have the text align buttons. So we create text align buttons and we also inject the receiver in there and also uh, the invoker. And then we embed those buttons. The complete code for this button factory is below here, but that's not very important for our example. So, and then we append those buttons, we have the buttons applied. So what happens when we uh, uh, invoke a command to change, for example, the background color, we execute the command through the invoker. So we say execute command by passing the command and we then add the commands to the commands list. Okay, we push it, then we execute it. Then we also have undo and redo possibilities. So let's look at the result. When we scroll down here, we have indeed the an undo and a redo button, a left, center, a right and right button for the alignment. And we have a whole set of color buttons. These color buttons, left, center and right are all created by the button factory. And uh, you can have a look at that code yourself. But what happens here when I click any of these buttons, for example, the center button, 
as you will notice, it will center my text. But it does that through the invoker. And the invoker now keeps that command in its record of commands. When we then change the color, make it blue. Also, this command is executed and added to the uh, array list of commands. We then, for example, align right and set the color to red. And all these commands are executed through the invoker since, uh, and in that way the invoker knows all the commands that have been executed. Uh, and then of course when we call undo, we can call the undo action of the commands that are there. If we redo again, we can redo, re-execute all commands. And that's how the command pattern works.